Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Okay, so here we are at Kunming Railway Station I thought I'd show you how easy and convenient it is to take a high-speed train here in China So let's go to give her my passport usually there are so many questions but today no questions oh this is the life that I've been waiting for since after COVID so my gate is gate 3 I'm Lizzie and today I'm gonna take you with me on my journey to Guoyang. I have about two to three days off so I thought I'd show you how easy it is now and I'm actually just really excited to show you how easy it is to travel again after COVID. So from Kunming to Guoyang it's around 600 kilometers. The high-speed train takes two hours to get there and it only cost me 200 RMB. So if you didn't know, China has more than 33,000 high-speed trains at the moment that go more than 40 and a half thousand kilometers. The closest to China is Japan and Spain with around 3,000 kilometers. So that gap is pretty crazy and just shows you how far China is ahead. Fun fact though, China is in a big debt when it comes to high-speed trains. Their high-speed rail at the moment is 6 trillion Chinese Yuan in debt. does bother me though here in China is they don't really listen with earphones so every single person's phone is like on 100% volume Kind of comfortable, has everything. 
so here in the bathroom is the sign this is how serious it is so if you they find you smoking you'll usually pay 500 but it will never go above 2000 and if it does they will put you in jail yeah they definitely have to regulate this quite good and i think the government is doing a great job with that because people really don't smoke on the trains As you can hear, there is English in the train. All the announcements they say in Chinese and in English, so you won't miss your stop or miss any important announcements. Here on your trip.com, you can view the stops and see exactly how many times they're going to stop before you have to get off. I do want to talk about convenience. It is so convenient to just walk around freely, stretch your legs, go to the bathroom. It is definitely much cheaper. But I do think the biggest thing about the convenience about taking high speed trains is the stations. The railway stations are much closer to the center of the city than your airports. And some cities in China are very big, so it does make a big difference to be closer to the center. pretty crazy about their hot water they believe hot water cures all sickness so you'll see this quite often maybe for hot water and also for your noodles if you want to make noodles maybe just wash your hands to Guiyang. I'm gonna go grab some lunch with my friends. I hope you guys had a great time with me today. I'll see you in the next video.